what do I know? Mm. I know mm. that when I open my eyes, I can see things. Did you know that you're and live on the reallibertymedia.com? I actually saw that because I was looking at the chat right now. See, I also know yeah. that what? that people are right now going, who the mm. hell is she? Ah. <laughs> Well, Miss Mary, I will introduce you to the radio audience. Ha, Why, ha. thank you, yeah. Mr. Flash. Yes, this is Flash, somebody, at the dork table on September the 19th, 2020. And I have got Gramsci tied up and ready to yak at you. I am not tied up, but I am wearing a shawl. Thanks, Grimner. It's kind of breezy inside. Oh, is it chilly, Willie? Well, I have windows open, and the wind is blowing. Because hmm? windows let the oh. wind in. Yeah, those fucking Unless you're windows. talking about oh, windows, I, 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 you know, like Windows 10, and then, you're, then it lets the viruses in. Yeah. Can they hear yeah. us now? Can they hear us now? Anyway. I you, don't know. Testing. One, two, five, seven, nine. We are pancakeless on a Saturday. I am very disturbed. Oh, no. I'm kidding. Uh we are cakeless. Yeah, but eh, when he has work, he'll he'll overlook you know the show to go do something important. But he'll usually show up on Saturday. Really, <sighs> something yeah, more yeah. important than us? Oh yeah, it, us? it yes, it happens. I hold yourself together, little Missy. I know it's a shock. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we got bots and bodies that did show up that deserve way more attention. <laughs> oh, well, I see a barman right up top, and he is the most splendiferous bot in the whole uh, wide world. Right. Why? Because uh, I said so. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Rob and Grim are chatting on the Arlen feed. I see them. Yeah, okay, I good. hear voices. Yeah. Oh, I, make them know, stop. I actually did that in Kmart when they were doing the Blue Light Special. Mm. You know, they were going, attention, uh, Kmart uh, shoppers, there is now a Blue Light Special. And I stood right there in the middle of the aisle and covered my ears and went, I'm hearing voices, make them stop. And people uh, looked at me like, oh, wow. my God. And then I started laughing. So it was all good. But, I, I always um, wanted to see the spoiled brat go off on his parents and start screaming, these people abducted me and... They're holding me against my will and watch them get arrested and go away. <laughs> right in front of me, you know. It's like, but I never saw it. Just in a movie like a virus. <laughs> yeah, I never saw that either. But I, I have seen the child go, Mom, he hit me back. Oh, yeah. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen I had a sibling that, that liked to spar with me. Mm, that's so I learned to be a dirty fighter when I was just a boy. I'll tell you. There you go. Well, you know, when you're shorter than your sibling. <laughs> yeah, it makes a difference. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to, yes, the parts that matter or will matter in the future. Yeah. Well, it still hoits when you get hit there. Yeah. In well. any case, we also got a Grimner here. Grimner! Hey, Grimny, how you doing? And the lovely Moose Quail is also here, Moose and they girl. had a freaky ball last night. They yeah. had a freaky ball. I, I, caught, I, got, la oh, I got up really late for me today, but I got up, uh, pan, you know, did my little shit around the, listen to the Freaker's Ball. <laughs> Yay, there you go. I also see the lovely Miss Kate is also here. Hey, Kate, how you doing down there in Florida? Mm -hmm. Where the duh that has so much duh. More duh for the buck. Day. You got extra duh than we got. I know, it's got a <sighs> pan handle full of it. We also got Anti, Anti in here as well, in here as the well as the Michael. buck. Honey, Michael. hello. She's on the couch. What are you? Are you crocheting? Yeah, she's crocheting over there. On the, oh, yeah. she's she's crocheting. Mm -hmm. I'm in crocheting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I man. also yeah. see the lovely Miss Chloe e. oh. e. is here. <laughs> da, 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 and, da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, that too. Damn, Van Meter is also here. Hey, Miss Donna, Ooh. how you doing, hon? We are so Flash lucky on the door table. Yeah, we got a free work because you know he's got to get the U right out of there. <laughs> e Y U Coming dirty Canadian. <laughs> Him Kentucky uh, stands are so weird. Kentucky. I'm here. I'm here. Oh. We got a J. Hey. Nine J's. Nine J's. J's. Nine J's. 
Jays, don't come out here to Northwest. Oh. Man, the wind is blowing. That kilt will be flapping up in your face. Mm-hmm. I also see Meisterbrauer is here. Hey, well, Woody. Yeah, Kate says hello the in the text. Is. Very much, too. I mm. see that. Oh, Rob wow. Works is wanting to know, is she crocheting? That that would be right. Something like that. She's she's making a uh, sweater, a new sweater for her uh, wintertime. Probably for cool. dog walking. Cause Gets chilly and she even wants to wear a coat. Go figure. Ah. Yeah. Summer's gone. I'm going to miss the summer for about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, huh? And then for about a week, I'm going to be gone. Ah. And then after that, I'll be wishing it was summertime again for about like five months. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's yeah, a ritual. It's about it. it's, a, that it's a Jew thing. It doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with the weather. It's just a Jew thing. Oh. Okay. <sighs> My nose makes me do it. Ah, because the nose knows. Sometimes. Yeah. You never know. Rob Wikes is here, and he's hey, the bubbler. bubbler. It around. The bubbler. Cybernetic hit for everybody. Fuck that! I'm I hitting mine. Trust no one is here. He just said trust anybody. Trust. Not no one. The, the trust Russians. No the Russians did it, I tell you. The Russians. The, yeah. They have their stuff making you not trust <laughs> I also see Oof. Uh, Oofka. Oof. Hey. I know him. That's duh. Happy Apples and Honey. That's duh without Apple. a D, U, and an H. See, I'm, I'm smart, Michael. I'm smart. I went to I'm college. Smart. I know stuff. <sighs> I read a book. Really? No. Um, book? No. Actually, I stood on the book to turn the TV set on. <laughs> 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 Luckily for me, it was an unabridged dictionary because I'm really, really short. <laughs> <laughs> Almost didn't get on top of the book. <laughs> Man, I need to get a step stool to climb up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was fun. Now, all the short jokes out of the way right in the first five seconds. Okay. Next. Oh, no, but wait. Now we will find some. I hope so. It's, it's the door. the lovely table. Miss Vanna White Vanna is also here, Vanna. the letter-turning bot of the RLS Vanna. channel, Vanna. as well as Weather Dork, who is overachieving today in the breezy Vanna. area. Weather Dork. I also yeah. see the Phantom is here. It's Vanna. the Phantom. Phantom. It's Oh, no. Rob no, works no, no. is grumbling and farting. Well, it's a good damn cool. thing the wind is blowing, so it blows it right past me. Um, Maybe that's what he uses noticed? for bog okay. water. <laughs> the grumbles and the farts, I, that reminded me, go figure, yeah. about Bill Gates and, and all of his, you know, and he, he's like an Italian woman. <laughs> and I saw him doing in a video where he was talking about how Trump actually stopping people from coming into the country made the coronavirus worse. And and his hands were just going like crazy. And I, and I just had to ask, so what's with the hands? Is he trying to fan away the stench of the BS that's fallen out of his mouth? Because them hands are always going, and they're always fanning something away from his mouth. It's like, dude, I don't know if I should offer you toilet paper or floss. Good God. Mm. And anyway, we got an Asmo 2 mm. in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Asmo 2. Uh, Asmo 2. We got a CC66 in the chat as well as a Chloe. Ooh, it's a double dipper. Yeah, wait a bit of skits here. Excuse me. I got, I'll check up on that. Yeah. We have a cyborgian noodle too, maybe. Oh, hey, and the uh, of it all. the frog just and an too. end sieve. Oh, and an end sieve. Oh. And a frumpy, so see, got double dose wow. frumpy. That's the counteract the double dose Chloe. Boy. For those of you that don't know, I think the Canadian frog is here. <laughs> the Canadian hey, members join Canada immediately. Hey, Canada. frog, you old bastard! How the fuck are you? Stand. Yeah. We got a kiss going on here. See, kiss is right underneath the frog. So if you kiss frog, he'll turn into a phantom kiss. <laughs> kiss. <laughs> here, how about bat? <laughs> Fuck. What a name. Okay. Anyway, next. Okay. Matt. Matthew. 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 As well as Mr. Snick Snack, who's going to patty your wax. Patty wax. And then give that give dog that your bone. Dog a bone. <laughs> Ow, that's Ouch. painful. The dog will I bury it anyway. Pone sauce. Pone sauce. The dog's over there going, 
excuse me, but your your bone is buzzing. Um, yeah. Quasimodo is also here. Quasimodo. He's got a hunch. I've got a hunch. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Moving along. Ah, I'm a rather a brilliant ever. surgeon. I could help you with that hump. What hump? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what up? It's, just, it's Quinky Dink Day because Quasimodo, and then you got the holiest Roger ever. Mm. Quasimodo like to hang out in belfries and churches. Wow. And holiest Roger ever. God, I have his own church because he's the holiest <laughs> ever. Wow. Even Hannah yeah, like that one. The cruise hey, Z-Pix. stop it, you. Z picks. Hey, Miss Hannah Banana. Yeah, I know. She's my trusted <laughs> servant, guarding me. From the evil that men do. Hannah Banana. Hmm? Hannah Banana. And that's her way of letting me know everything's okay. She runs around. I'm uncle. I'm on guard. Yeah, Mm -hmm. but she's loud about it. So we're not, you know, so we know we're safe. Yes. Because well, only a does that too. Because whenever a butterfly farts, she yeah. has to let me but know. See, that o- butterfly just pass with. Only an idiot goes into an unfamiliar place where there's barking dog you know true in the dark well it depends on the tone because if you hear a Mm. woof Mm. woof, you might think that you might be able to outrun the dog because that sounds like a big dog kind of yeah i got one question for you run real fast but if you hear the little yip 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 it's like come on bitch what do you do about the cat (laughs) spiders yeah but what you gonna do about the cat well, the cat, you're just in trouble because the cat will do figure eights around your feet until you face plant, and then it will come up and okay. do its swishy tail thing in your face yeah. until you sneeze, yeah. and then then it'll go, that's not the right way to hack up the hairball here. I'll show you. So, do you know what I called our epic story today on the uh, Dork Table podcast? An mm-hmm. epic story? Yeah, oh, it please. is called today. Our title is, It is Against the Law to Think. I think. <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. Pretty sure. it's If you think for yourself in a social situation and you don't think like everybody else does, you could end up in a big puddle of doo-doo. Ooh. Ooh. Now, of course, this depends on the quality of the meat sacks that you surround yourself with. See? Yeah, and what I've noticed about these human beings as of late, little Missy. What's that? They're a bunch of fucking cowards that are afraid of movie titles. See, and I thought maybe you were just going to say they were gaseous and just... No, you know what, I've yet to hear... Because you said human beings, and beings have a tendency to make you gaseous. Okay, but I've heard a lot of links over the time, you know, people that have... Pretty good following, it's 50, 100,000. And they're mm-hmm. telling them exactly what they think about how exactly they see this thing. And no matter what the minority of people that believe that believe think, the system mm-hmm. is still there doing what it does. And like we was talking about before the show started, little missy, I heard you say stuff about stuff? it. You betcha. Mm. Because... There's people that are going to comply for reasons beyond what you can identify by looking at them. You know? It's a fucked up mess we got going on here, cooking, so to speak. Oh, yeah. And depending on the population you're living in and how seriously people take it. But the damage that's being done to each other while we're arguing about stuff that you should know is bad for you in the beginning. But you don't even know that much, so we're fucked. Not you don't know. The you that doesn't know probably isn't listening to the show. <laughs> you know ah, what I mean? Yeah, you're a yeah. And you didn't know. Yeah, well, most of the people I disagree with on these situations in chat rooms have me uh, blocked. They don't want to hear this side of it. Oh. And I obviously wow. don't want to hear their side of it. But, so, you know, it's a mutual, it's like... You don't go to the dork table to be told how smart you are. That's not the. That was never the uh, the point of this. Yeah. Well, you go. Yeah, you go to the dork table to find out just how dorkular you possibly can be. Right, but you what just you have to really try. 
But what you get told is happening in society in the end, in the long run, always ends up to be different than what you were originally told. And this hoax now, this is the most perfectly executed, uh, I don't even know what to call it, scheme, scam, fraud in the history of, of human being. I've never seen anything work so well on so many people with no factual backup. It's just TV and stories. <laughs> okay. My well, man's look, coming together. Yeah, look at the people. Okay, compare the people that, that are afraid. Compare them to the people who claim to not be afraid. And what the part that you're missing is the news. See? The people that aren't afraid don't suck up to that state-driven fear-mongering will pound this into you until you fucking agree. Bullshit. Oh, but see, the new the new ploy now is to tell all of those that are not afraid that they really are afraid. They just don't realize that they're afraid because because those that those that listen to the state and wear their mask, they're not afraid because they trust what they've been told. Those of you that refuse to wear the mask, shame on you, you fearful creatures, you. Really? Wow. Yeah. How do you yeah, really feel about us, lady? <laughs> well, I, I got told that the other day, and I said, wow. So I'm afraid because I refuse to wear something that makes absolutely no sense to me. Well, you know That's, what? Then you could make okay. you, you can make some money off this. Make T-shirts that say barefaced. <laughs> barefaced and proud. <laughs> See something? There you go. It doesn't matter. Just make a T-shirt out of it, and somebody Ooh. will make a movement share out of it. it. Share it. There you go. There you Ooh. go, and have a great big smile. Yeah. Well, she's a thinking with her brain. I see. Yes. Hmm. I may have to talk to my youngest daughter about that, because she's actually getting out of the T-shirt business, because it's just making her crazy. Well, that's still, I mean, there's still going to be a market for expensive shit in the future. It's all the cheap shit. They're getting rid of all the cheap shit. Bye-bye. Nice plan. Go away. Oh, we've got bigger boys playing. Now you are finished. So, And they've even figured out a way to stop a black market from operating. With the fucking consent of the very people that they're holding back from survival. <laughs> Believing. <I know. laughs> but I'm sorry to laugh, but it's funny to me. These people, because they've seen movies and news programs and shit on television, they all believe they're experts in viruses, Mary. <laughs> I know. You know, you might as well be a fucking expert in space travel or time travel or, I don't know, turning gold into or turning wheat into gold because all those things are not happening. <laughs> you know what else ain't happening? We don't have Logic, yeah. Hockey. We don't have a global pandemic. The numbers show you that, but but see, this is where the movies come in: is they override your common sense and make you believe the story instead. Yeah, they yeah. People out. have gotten so good at believing what someone tells them as opposed to what they actually see. In yeah. Their mind, in their wow. Mind. Honey, I love you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the TV says that that you're a mean and cruel and uncaring bastard because you won't wear a mask. So, obviously, you don't love me. Uh, it's just yeah. a beautiful divide and conquer. I This was brilliant. I, my hat's off to the Rothschilds on this performance. They've got their little minions in the freaking press and politics running mm -hmm. around. And nobody denies this whole fucking thing. This is the beauty of it is if you come right the fuck out and openly say this is a fraud, a hoax, you're all being fucked, nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear, oh, well, this, that, and the other, but anything but the, the bald-faced truth, that's not good enough. They need a well, reason. I think, it was, I think it was Mark Twain that said something mm. along the lines of, it is easier to fool someone than to convince them that they have been fooled. Yeah, I think he used the word trick, but no, I, I might have been fooled, huh? Yeah, same thing. I don't remember the quote verbatim, you maniac. We're doing radio. 
I don't but either. But I'll bet you there's somebody no. in the chat room that'll post it. <laughs> oh, Lucy's talking about pedo flicks, and I'm I'm assuming cuties on on Netflix. Yeah. And I actually listened to something the other day about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, well, it was it was uh, louder with Crowder, his mug club thing in the morning, and his half Asian Bill, who is the legal person on louder with Crowder funnier in hell but um in any case he was saying that technically porn is just too vague of a word because too many people you know can but it is in legal standards it's considered a sexual exploitation of a child it would have to be and yeah. so there's no yes, other way that that video does fall under the category of sexual exploitation of a child well, right. It would so, have to, be, but legal. See here we go on this legal schmiegel crap, and mm-hmm. and they're assuming they're assuming that because somebody is interested in the topic, there's something wrong with the person. They're making it that way, so it's guilting people and shit. And you know what? What if you were just curious to see what the fuck all the hoopla was about, and you click this fucking button, you just got tagged as a freaking pedophile. Yeah, you did. Because of and, and that's what a lot of people don't realize, you know, is you can you can quite literally be nailed and jailed for watching that shit because of the legal definition. Yeah, I think I mean what if you were a student in college and you were doing a, a research on uh, per, uh perversions and you use the internet to do your research and all these things you click on Boom, 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 boom. People are going, hey, look, we got us a live one. He's at Stanford. Yeah, his yeah. name is Jerry Smith, and he's in Suite 4. Go get him. And they do. Yeah. They, we, we have instant everything now. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, right now. It's, it's getting to the point where even researching is basically illegal because, oh, my God. You know, they have the laws written in such a way that if they wish to twist it, tweak it, yep. warp it just enough, they can say, well, you just broke this law because you were researching such and such subjects. Yeah. Well, maybe, see, and I don't trust the system that we live in. So I I would go as far as to say this could be some kind of a trap to get you, to get your information on a list so that if anything happens where you live, they can come, come and knock on your door and look for little Sally who uh, didn't come yeah. home from, you know, school that day or whatever the fuck it is now. I don't know. I guess they're not going to school. Where do you go to kidnap a kid now? They shut all the businesses down. <laughs> they want to shut all the pedophilia guys down. I mean, hey, kids are going to have to just grow up the old-fashioned way without getting raped in the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, and I was mm. listening to, actually, what? when you called, I was listening to Amazing Polly. Yeah. And she's covering, you know, that one that I was listening to where she was covering the um, cuties yeah. thing. And, yeah. and she had statistics that something like 48% of all children are sexually abused by people they know. Hmm. So, hmm. yeah. Well, you can't even can't uh, even trust neighbor Bob anymore. Yeah, well, you know what? I, out, I ain't worried about neighbor Bob. I'm worried about me. I just keep my little paws off of the little kitties, and there you go. It's out of yeah. my life. It's out of my thinking process. This has to be thrown at me to get my attention because I don't give a flying fuck about what you do. I care about what I do. I don't. I don't have that kind of interest in other people. You know. See, and I really don't, as far as as far as far I'm concerned, it, so long as someone else is not getting hurt and there's... Con- it's, it's a, a different story, thing. right. But, yeah, that's a whole different story. This is about shoving something in somebody's face that it normally wouldn't be shoved in their face. So yeah. they, they found this this way to do it, and it's creating a, a like a an anger issue for us to delve into when we don't want to. See? I don't want to get sucked mm-hmm. into that shit, so I'm going to argue about how I'm not co- I'm not connected to it. So fuck it, because I don't want to get into the anger of how people treat children, and it's just that eh, this way life is. 
If people yeah. did not treat each other the way they fucking do, we wouldn't be where we are. All these things are byproducts of the societies we live in. If you got people raping little kids where you live, look at the people you're ra- that have uh, positions of control and power. Who's running shit? The, yeah. There's a problem right there. Get rid of them. Yeah, because your environment is a direct reflection. We're stuck. We're stuck with this government shit, Mary. Everybody thinks that without a government, we as people are lost little dogs and couldn't survive. It's insanity. I know. We need them. I don't fucking need them for anything. I need them to do is to leave me the fuck alone. That's called anarchism. You know? I'm not yeah. burning City Hall down in some kind of protest. I don't give a fuck about them enough to bother. <laughs> to me, all this government shit, it, it's just a story I hear on the internet. You know? It's not real. Well, <clears throat> to me, all of this tearing shit down and and burning stuff down and beating people up all that is is petulant toddlers having a hissy fit you know that to me is not anarchy no it is chaotic yes but it's reported that way little three-year-old that has not obviously found out that this is not appropriate behavior but the news reports it as that to get people to understand it that way they they guide the bullshit they are perverting the true definition yes. of the word. Thank and basically, you. the yeah. true definition, the word has been perverted for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, <no. clears throat> Grimm's so gone over it with Moose. I know. Tesla. You know, Tesla was freaking genius, hmm. but now we've got Elon Musk with a Tesla, with a Tesla car that really... Yeah, not oh, I know. And they, you know of so all they, the names they had to take, they could have used yeah. any other fucking name in the world, but no. Let's use the most important guy in the world of electric. <laughs> and then bury his memory because it's a car brand now. What? Yeah. You pieces of... Sh- <laughs> yeah. This is what I do not like about society, Miss Mary. It's very disturbing. <laughs> yes, it can be. It can be. Yes. Man. <sighs> People are just... <clears throat> People are just weird. And then, and to me, it's like, and I know an awful lot of people, and hell, I, you know, there's times when I'll go, really cool, let me go check that out. You know, like someone tells me something, and I'll, I'll go, wow, okay, cool, let's go, or maybe you should try doing this, and, and I'll take their advice and then find out, wow, that was really bad advice. But, you know, so many people focus on, well, you gave me really bad advice, as opposed to, wow, I learned not to listen to you again. What a positive. So, mm. you know, there's mm. all of this crap going on. Mm. And and I'm looking in the chat here, and they're talking about nudity and all this other fun stuff. And Java says nudity is not a filthy thing, which it's not. I mean, we're born naked. Right. It's really the way are. it's. And, the, and under our clothes, we're naked. <clears throat> what they're doing is they're making naked objectified. Mm-hmm. And they are turning you into an object. As opposed to a person, a person. Because when I was eleven or years old, I still hadn't developed into girls yet. At, at eleven, I was still in the swimming pool every day, and my life was swimming, and you know that was pretty much what I wanted to do. And then twelve came along, and then hey, who's she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, she looks different. Yeah, but I mean, I don't remember the day or anything, but it was right there, 11 to 12, somewhere like that. Yeah, but, it took me a while before I decided that boys were something other than icky and just dumb brothers that you wanted to, you know, sock. Well, that was the way we were raised. That's the whole thing, is that society was uh, guided in that in that kind of idea, that behavior, that thinking. And then over the years, it got more, uh, what would you call it, liberal. <laughs> and now now you can uh, run down the street in a G-string while you're uh, with your hair on fire if it turns you on and call it a parade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you got rights, and if people. if anyone were to block their child's view of it, they're a homophobe. Homophobe. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's freaking nasty. <laughs> I don't. There are some things that I do not want to have burned into the back of my child's retina, and that's yeah. one of them. 
Excuse me. Well, I noticed in the chat. Frog had seen it and was making comments about it. Me, I'm not going to look. I'm not interested. But it's a topic. It gets brought up, and I have opinions about the concept. But at the, so what? I got other things on my mind, though, like this. <laughs> You're going to love this one. You ready? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to make a statement here on the dork table as uh, the dork. And I'm going to say okay. this to you people it's out there in radio land. Okay. If the virus was real, we mm -hmm. would be forced to get it, not be forced to not get it. We are in a time of, come on, people, look around you. Why would they force you to be healthy in a world where everything that you absorb is crap? <laughs> so, I know, I, it I, makes it, you wonder if maybe it's not a false narrative. I, I can't, There's an ulterior motive going on. Well, dun, dun, dun. But to the person that believes that all this lockdown shit and masking and all this crap, staying out of the sun, no exercise, all these things are good for you, and the government wants to help you to do these things for your benefit, how can you be that fucking ignorant in 20 and 20? I don't get it. Am I? Did I miss something here? All you um, gotta do, is, you don't even have to read, you don't have to watch a fucking link. I can prove this to you inside of ten minutes. Strap a mask on your face and go out and run for ten minutes. And if that doesn't kill you or put you in the hospital, you don't have the COVID. But you're going to get sick, guarantee it. Take might take a couple days to a week. That'll put you out. Huh? You know, what? you talking about that. <coughs> I <coughs> challenge you people. No, yeah. I don't. What? <laughs> um. The COVID. <laughs> all, all it is is a rebranded cold. It's a fucking common cold with a new name. It, it, it will only kill you if you are already ill. Period. Right there. Fuck this yeah. young, old bullshit. If you're sick already and you get this, whatever this fucking crap is, it's already there. They just tell you they added... Uh, it's in the story. We're being TV'd. Yeah. It's like, man, am I the only one around that gets the similarity between reality and television? <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and I always thought it was for entertainment, and I'm starting to realize... No, these people are guiding the fucking human race with stories that don't really make any fucking sense. It's called predictive programming. I mean, I'm, yeah. okay, we, we even got people that, you know, go a little bit to the far one side on believing in aliens, like they've encountered them. <laughs> no, I have a funny feeling that if we ever encountered an alien, the whole world would notice and go, hey, look, he's talking to an alien over there. It wouldn't be some toothless guy in a field talking about how his crops were invaded. <laughs> oh, man. We're, the stories are so ridiculous. And yet they pull the biggest crowds. The more we stupid, the bigger the fucking crowd. What? Well, yeah, it's called sensationalism. Oh, yeah. man. But things that are physically impossible... If you see them talk about it on the goddamn news, all of a sudden, the thing that was impossible yesterday, they said it could happen on the news, therefore it's now different. <laughs> yes. Talk yes. about power. Wow. And and did these are the, these are people that think the they're free. I posted yesterday? No. I think it was yesterday. No. The porcupine musings? No, I don't think. Maybe I don't, it was Thursday. Maybe I did. I'm kind of on my rant right now. You hit know, me with a question. but you was talking about the COVID. And I <laughs> the COVID. There is no fucking... I mean, in my reality, there, it's just, just a TV show. You guys are crazy, man. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. And I'm positive I, that if anybody heard that, that doesn't like it, they're going to go click. But hey, you know, reality is whatever it is. And this is the worst fucking pandemic in the history of mankind. There's not enough dead people. I think we should call this one the Rona flu over the cuckoo nest. Wait till you see the results of all the assistance. That's where the death's going to come. 
and all the oh, food yeah. shortages and all these man-made bullshit fucking dramas that could have been avoided if people weren't so ignorant that they believed for even a minute that this was real. Oh, believe. We gave them enough time. Well, now we gave them enough time to put it to law. So now you don't even have a fucking choice to believe it or not. Now it's a law. We'll bust yeah, your it head. It's not even a law. It's a mandate. And the mandates are based on recommendations. And the recommendations are based on faulty models. Yes. So it's, it's crap built on crap built on crap. I, I hear Yertle the turtle get very <laughs> firm. Yes, Miss Mary, I am. I, I am very aware of that, as you are, but unfortunately, <laughs> we are the we are the minority. We're the, like the skin, something. It's just really bad. And there's so many people that they don't have the ability to not be afraid of a verbal threat. It's like that's all that takes. They're terrified into submission to the level of if I don't do what they're doing. Because they were told to, or they're going to die, and they believe it, then I'm trying to hurt them. Yeah. <sighs> it makes you kind of want to buy a gun and carry it around with you, doesn't it? Listening yeah. to that kind of stupid... Look, I didn't grow up in a world where I was afraid of the next guy, and I'm a little guy, Okay. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my life, I heard all the stories about, oh, you go there and these people will hurt you and you go here and these people will hurt you. And I went there and nothing happened. I met people. And here I am, 60 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And all this, all, all it took to discount 50 fucking plus years of my life was this ignorant story about a fucking virus. It's like a TV show. It's not real. I can't believe people are believing it. Well. What? I'm a minority. I mean, there's just too much. Okay, there's too much reality in the world right now for all these people that are living in fear to get beyond to see they're being fucked. They're not strong enough to deal with, hey, I what? I'm being lied to. No, no, no. It would ruin them. They can't handle it. They've been raised that way. Look at the TV for 40 fucking years. Raised a bunch of pussies. Yeah, pretty much. And psychos. I, I was talking about this Tuesday. I seen a video, the worst fucking cop video I ever saw. And these two idiot cops had to be aggressive with this guy, and they could not overpower him. And they sprayed him with mace, and they tasered his ass, and he still, they couldn't get him out of the damn car. And then when they finally did, well, he had a gun under the seat, and he grabbed it and shot them both. It was like, wow, what, what the, f two in, it was like the Keystone fucking cops in 2020, and with live ammunition instead of ha, 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 slapstick. These civilian people are so intimidated by these fucking cops that they are willing to kill them to escape them. And that's, well, I mean, wow. what? Because that's the way I interpreted what I saw. The guy broke some fraction bullshit laws, turning in front of a cop and didn't have paperwork. And the next thing, they're spraying him and tasering him and get out of the car. And he went nuts and shot them both. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm thinking while I'm watching this video, if these cops weren't so aggressive and stupid from the gate, they would have realized when I could look at this guy's car and tell, oh, he's a fucking problem. <laughs> yeah. And they probably did the same thing when they approached him, but they're cops and they're cocky and they got all these ideas. They're invincible. And this guy said, fuck yeah. you. I shot them both. He killed one and just mortally wounded the other one. But Wow. To encounter the police, you got to shoot them to walk away now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but see, people will justify that. And, well, he wouldn't obey. Okay, well, so what? You know, It's just paperwork. It's not important. Well, he wasn't registered. See, there you go with your paperwork. And I don't find these things are, have any value, if anything. All they do is they give the police a reason to get shot by a psycho. 
So the reason he was pulled over was because he didn't have his registration. Well, the yeah, they, the cops the claimed that he pulled a wide turn in front of in front of the cop car, and then when they pulled him over, his paperwork wasn't up to date, registration and shit. He couldn't prove it, and he okay, started to get so. panicky. And then they taser him while he's sitting in his freaking car, yelling at him to get out of it. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just thinking that in all my life, okay. I've never responded well to a forceful bully cunt. They just make me want to fight them. And I'm not even big enough to fight people, right? And if these police yeah. had have pulled me over, I would have reacted the same fucking way he did. Just out of principle of, wow, you're p this is all this shit over a fucking registration? What are you, stupid? When did not having registration, when was that a crime that was uh, validated? You could be violent with the guy that won't cooperate over his fear of paperwork. This is what it boils down to. There was no violence in this till the cop tasered him. Then it got violent. Oh, see, he had to taser him because the other guy, he, he did a wide turn. And so, therefore, he was being aggressive with his wide turn. So no. he was the aggressor, and the cop was just responding to his aggression <laughs> in a more aggressive way. <laughs> oh, wow. Legal. T See, and, and we're, we're all kind with this admiralty court bullshit. <laughs> well, the reality the of the is, whole thing. We are thing, living but. in this system right now, and so yeah. people seem to think that they can just fucking ignore the system. We, when you're living in the system, you can't just blatantly ignore the system, especially no, when no, the system no. gets right in your face. Then yeah. you have to kind of figure out a way to get out of its line of sight again. Well, you know? when you pull poor people over in the middle of the damn night and you're all nasty and aggressive, that shit's going to yeah. happen. And if you saw yeah. the car, you just, it just was, there was no, a richer guy would have got away with whatever happened. But he had a messy car and he, he was fumbling around and made it look bad on himself and they got violent right away you know there you go it's a power trip it's all about who's in control and all this horse shit and if you yeah. don't want to play don't drive there's your answer to that so you know what i decided to do <laughs> what's that not drive oh there you go i quit driving when i was in scotland i said you know what i can walk around this island i don't i don't need the car so got rid of the damn car Started walking, went, eh. And I walked in North Carolina, too, but that was different reasons. Yeah. That was personal choice because what I was uh, drinking and crazy shit like that, I didn't want to be responsible for a $40,000 car. Because you know? I could have took the damn car, but then I would worry about why I couldn't get it back. It's like a mile mile walk. So I went, no, nah, I just walk up there, fuck this. <laughs> Most yeah. people would just take advantage of having the car and go and drive and get drunk and then forget all their, you know, the promises they make when they're sober. Because <laughs> that's what alcohol mm -hmm. does to me. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, car well, keys and like, alcohol? I don't like driving someone else's car anyway. So that's, yeah. I haven't owned my own car since I was a teenager. No. And there was years and years. Yeah, well, there was years where I lived in cities, major cities, where a car wouldn't have been held, helped me any. So I didn't have one. But there were times where I would need a car. Somebody would have one and need me to drive it. <laughs> I oh, drove better than go. they did. <laughs> They're the licensed driver, but hey, you really drive good. <laughs> anyway, old days, you know, old uh, crap. So. What I started out on this rant, but we got kind of whacked off on it. Uh, if the virus was will, we would be forced to get it, not forced to test for it. They've got it all backwards. Unless mm -hmm. the virus mm -hmm. is a mental virus. Mm -hmm. And they have implanted it in all of these people that, where's your mask? Those are the ones that are infected with it. Yeah, well, what confuses me about that nose thing test is if you got to cover your mouth from coughing, why do they got to stick something up your ass to hit the back of your throat? 
What's the point of that? That's intrusive. Nah, I ain't doing it. Good Lord. They gotta lock me up or something, but no, I don't want nothing stuck inside. I got enough fake shit in my abdomen from hernias. I'm done with medical science. They're they're not experimenting on me. There's plenty of young people for that. <laughs> Finished. I learned my lesson. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think I've, I've had my pillows. Yeah, I. I like yourself. I feel I I've lived a good enough life to where I don't I don't fear all this shit to that level where <laughs> comply or what? What are you going to do? What kind of threat am I to who? <laughs> no, this is a bunch of shit. You're kidding me. But once you say that it's a bunch of shit, people stop listening. Yeah. Well, yeah, because. Part of us wants to believe there's some truth to this to justify it. Otherwise, we've been fucking screwed huge. And I'm going to go along with, I think that the people that really know, really know, we've been, we're just too ignorant to know any better. That this is not possible. Even with the death count so low and all that, the threat in itself is just, it's enough to convince the, the ones that are holed up and only fed MSM. If all they see is Fox News and they're following the state telling them all this crap they tell them, they're probably feeling you know miserable and shit, but they're going to follow it because it's keeping them alive. See, and as you're talking, I clicked over on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And citizens attain greater something or other, something or other. Casgill posted this picture, and it's a picture of a, of a surgical mask and right beside it, the box that it came in, with the little warning label on the side that says that uh, this ear loop mask provides no protection against COVID-19 or any other virus. Hmm. Now, just below that, and I'm going to go ahead and put the picture in, in the RLM as well, but um, just below that it has the root cause of cancer from Dr. Otto Heinrich Warburger, uh, 1931 Nobel Prize winner, who states that all forms of cancer have two basic conditions, acidosis and hypoxia, or lack of, lack of oxygen. Cancerous tissues are acidic, whereas healthy tissues are alkaline. <clears throat> and so wearing that mask deprives a cell 35% of its oxygen for 40, or deprives a cell of 35% of its oxygen for 48 hours, and it may become cancerous. Now, there's one of those amorphous work, may, possibly, could, almost, kind of, sort of, allegedly. But <clears throat> there is a link between these mm -hmm. things. And maybe, just maybe, you know, them telling you social distancing and wear the mask and all that other fun shit is to cause hypoxia and to cause you to rebreathe the CO2 and therefore make you sick down the road so that you don't have any inclination because remember we have the attention span of a goldfish and you know so you won't remember that oh yeah I wonder if this relates back to that time where I spent six months wearing a freaking mask and breathing in my own CO2 <laughs> Jeez. well you know what's obvious to you Miss Mary is baffling to me I don't know any other way to explain the lack of uh, common sense. I, I don't know what else. I, I was a swimmer when I was a kid, so hey, breathing. I learned to appreciate the breathing because when you're in the water, you got to hold your breath. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, we grew up swimming because right. you, know, you have that many kids and you can get a family pass to the swimming pool for pretty damn cheap at the cheap babysitter for all them kids i've so seen yeah we all i've seen pictures of folks in the swimming pool wearing a mask miss mary it's absolute insanity craziness well, I mean, abounds miss mary i'm worried for the people they're nuts i know i've seen some of those as well and i wonder if maybe those are staged you know because all the world see there you staged. go wow and yet, I do know people, I've seen people yeah. driving by themselves. In a car, here too, yeah. I've seen that once or not too many times, maybe a few. But over the, yeah, over the, it's been months and months of this, on and off. 
volu- you know, it's voluntary, but then on the train now it's mandatory, or uh, public transport mandatory. And yeah, yeah, every fucking time I go out now, when I pass people waiting for their next bus or train, the chin thing, they do the chin strap. Mm-hmm. They're not even, you know, they're sitting t- two inches from each other with the damn thing on their chin now outside because they're waiting for the. <laughs> They're not taking it any more seriously than I am. They're complying so they don't create a bunch of shit and have to fucking suffer because they're using public transit. It's a mess. I'm, whoa. And then there's other yeah. people that will wear the fucking thing constantly. You know, there's the difference when you that you can see on, on the uh, people that are using the public transport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's just sad. I, the other morning, I was had to go to the grocery or something early, and I see a train, and it's got two cars. Okay, these are small trains here. One mm-hmm. woman on the train. Okay, all just on two cars, all by herself on this train, feet up, crocheting with a mask on, and then I look at the driver. You know what the driver ain't wearing? A mask. That's right. So that's telling me some people here get the fucking truth. But the state wants you to do certain things. Why? Maybe it's money motivated. I don't know. But hmm, it's got nothing to do with your fucking health. If you believe that nonsense, go watch another virus movie. Crazy fucker. Hmm. They're all the same. I mean, it's all a fucking story in a film. Like, watch Frankenstein. And where do you get this idea that you're going to dig up dead body parts out of a cemetery and bring them together with an electrical storm? <laughs> bring it to life. Okay. <laughs> Although that was a really good Mel Brooks movie. But there was a period of time, Miss Mary, when that particular inf- bit of information was new to the public. They never thought of it. Oh, yeah. So there were must have been people at the day when this took place in the 30s go, Hey! And when she wrote it in the, in the 1800s. Hey, this must be possible. And here we are, 2020. And you got people wearing masks to fight something that doesn't exist. It's a story. I know, and that mask, you know, that allows you to breathe somewhat. Wow. They, that even when, you know, they look at the, the quote-unquote science of the whole thing and go, well, it's supposed to stop the droplets that carry the virus. Okay, so it stops the droplets on the inside of the mask, so you get to rebreathe your own droplets and rebreathe so you don't ever get well then. Is that the way that shit works? <laughs> I still, you know, I'm like when you were talking about the shoving the Q-tip up the nose to where it scratches the back of your skull. Yeah, but if you can't, if you can... I, if, if you can pass why this by mean, coughing, why can't you just cough for a test? What's the fucking difference? I because know, you're being I lied know. to. There's the difference. When somebody well, tells you, here, when somebody tells you they're going to help you with your elbow, but they stuff their hand down your pants, you are dealing with a liar. Something is amiss. You are not okay, misunderstanding they their hand them. Down your, pass, <laughs> down your pants to check your elbow. <laughs> exactly. Maybe that's just to check your reflexes on how quickly that <laughs> elbow comes around and knocks their sorry ass out. Okay, but still, Miss Mary, if 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 this it, thing is communicable by coughing, why can't they just test the cough that you have or your saliva? Why do they got to shove shit up into the back of your head? Doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. I ain't going to try it on me. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Did I talk about that last week? I don't know. Well, this is this week, so you do whatever you want. I know, there but, you go. Okay, so, and my family was having a little massive family text chat thingy, and, and uh. the brother just younger than me was saying that they got their test results back and they don't have the Rona. They just had the shit. So, you know, went through an awful lot of toilet paper. In any case, mm. <clears throat> My baby sis was saying, did you have the the swab that went up the nose? And she said her husband, when he went in to get tested, they swabbed the back of his throat as opposed to swabbing through the nose. And she said, that's not very fair. And he got his test results back faster and all this other fun shit. And the whole damn time, they're they're going on and on about how how much of a torture chamber kind of thing this was. And... 
I just put in the text, I ain't taking no damn test that I can't study for. Hmm. How the hell do you study for a Q-tip shoved clean up behind your eyeballs? <laughs> Slowly? <laughs> don't, I, I don't have a clue. You know, that's, that's not a kind of test that I would really no. want to take. If, I have to, no. if part of the study is having a Q-tip shoved up so far that I can scratch the itch on the back of my head, hmm. I don't want to take that test. Well, I guess. Besides the fact that if if you've got a dis-ease yeah. that is so deadly that it's causing a grand pandemic, yeah. that the only way you can find out that you've got that dis-ease is by having someone come with a Q-tip and shove it in so far it can scratch your cranium. <laughs> I'm thinking hmm. this dis-ease is more of a dis-ease oh. in your mental faculty than it is anything else. Well, don't hold back there, little missy. I mean, it sounds like you're not impressed. I am not impressed. Hmm. Yeah, and but this is messing with you on a personal level. Where With me, it's more just reading stuff on the interwebs. There's no real physical daily interaction with anybody ill or any of that. So I'm just reacting to See, how I'm seeing and my... And I haven't had any daily re- interaction with anyone ill either, but, you know, mm-hmm. with with going down and helping with my mom, all of the people that come in to see her, which she's at least she's going to get one less visitor now because they said that she's doing well enough that she doesn't have to have a physical therapist come around anymore. Okay, oh. awesome. That's two less days a week that she has to have someone else come in. Oh. But all of these people, when they come into her house... They have to wear that damn mask. Oh. Because if they mm. don't wear the mask, they can get fired. Wow. But as soon yeah. as they walk in the door, we look at them and say, take your damn mask off. Good God. Yeah. yeah. This is a no mask zone. You're civilized, yeah. Well, people are afraid of insulting, too. you got to remember. You don't know who's yes. qualified to understand how the, this really works. <laughs> It's a mess. Well, yeah. And wow. It is a mess. Yeah. And well. it's it's a money maker. The For who? cities, the municipalities have mm. all figured out how to turn this into a money maker. Mm. And that was one thing on Wednesday when I was uh getting ready to leave. Mm. No, it was Monday I guess. Mm. Um Isaiah, the young man that comes in and helps with mom, um he was t- I was saying something about, you know, I went shopping at Walmart. And they did not require you to wear a mask, which was cool because I wasn't going to wear one anyway. But I thought just for shits and giggles, I'll go and see if I'm going to get in trouble for it. Hmm. And um, he told me that he had been at Walmart over the weekend, the Walmart down where my mom lives. And there was a big ruckus at the door. And so he kind of sort of took some time getting his cart so he could go here. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that, um, there was a gentleman that walked in without a mask, and an employee told them, you must wear a mask. And he said, no, it restricts my breathing, and that's a HIPAA violation for you to require mm-hmm. me to do that if it you know, causes me physical harm. So the employee called the police, and the police showed up and escorted him out of the Walmart and gave him a ticket for $100. Wow. And then they were going to ticket Walmart because Walmart allowed him in the door without a mask. Wow. And the ticket for the business is $500 per incident. Hmm. It is a money-making scheme. That's oh. all there is to it. See, I wasn't using my, uh, what do you call it, my bad guy side to, to think that through. You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking about, oh, yeah, they're going to illegally find people with this boat. It's not where I went to. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was in America, dear. Wow. Yeah, well, you know, when I heard that, it was like, oh, man. I'm I'm really, really, really tempted to just write a letter to the city council to let them know that, you know, I come down here once a week yeah. to help with my mom. And... um I used to spend money every time I came down here to help with my mom. You know, I'd take her shopping. We would go out to eat. We would yeah. do all this other stuff. Yeah. But since you've come up with all these Machiavellian rules, I am not spending this money. Now, you may say, oh, that's not that much. It's just one person. <laughs> but I'm not just one person. I am an example of many people that I know of that refuse to shop here, that refuse to spend money here, 
Mm. Because you guys and your Machiavellian dictate. (laughs) We're not going to spend money here. And so you're going to wind up losing all of that tax revenue. Mm. Is that why you started fining people for not wearing a freaking mask? That even the CDC has now come out and said, well, it really doesn't do anything for you. Oh. Yeah. Well, you've been telling people for a long time, vote with your dollars and quit wasting all your time on the politics. So I yeah. just see you just putting, you know, putting out the words that go along with doing it. Because that's how this is going to get fixed. Is that people finally get it. Whatever's wrong is their participation in whatever's wrong. Well, and it, you know, vote with your dollars, and then. Mm. And this reminds me of um, earlier I saw some. I think Gary also shared something um, uh, that uh, Tucker Carlson had done a talk about the uh, mayor of Nashville hmm. and how they had hidden the positive numbers about COVID in the city because they, you know, they didn't want people to know how few cases there were, you know, stemming from restaurants and bars and places like that, and that way they could keep those places closed and you know seeing as how they weren't generating near the tax revenue that they were they decided that well you know not only are we going to shut your businesses down not you know it's not intentional it's for the for your own good and for the safety of the public but you know seeing as how they aren't generating all that income Hmm. they're going to slap on a 34 percent increase in their property taxes to cover the shortfall 34 percent increase 34% 34% increase in wow. property tax well, then, to then, cover then. the shortfall of the revenue that they're not bringing in wow. because of their own Yeah, mandate. their own bullshit. Wow. How, mm-hmm. And the people have not received. The people rise up against each other instead of against the problem. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to bend Steve over the table and shaft him with the boner from the Jew people. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah well, right. I mean, the truth hurts and all, but, I mean, God, my people will just fuck you up if you bend over near them. It's just pitiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, see, Hannah, see Hannah Banana's agreeing. Nah, there's some, some noise going on outside, and she's getting excited over it. Uh-oh. What Someone's is that? walking by. Oh, yeah, it could be. She's just letting us know everything's okay. <laughs> I've so, got you covered. <laughs> Well, it could be another dog. She's territorial like that. Anyway. Yeah. Don't chat and shower. This is Frog's input on the chat today. Okay. When I'm in the shower, I'll not chat unless my wife is there to talk to me. Then I'll have to. (laughs) It's in the contract. (laughs) Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, details. (laughs) I know, I know. <laughs> Although chatting and showering at the same time, wow. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I was just making a joke about what I read on the chat because I could. I, <laughs> That's the kind of person I am, you know. Because I want to be like the Australians and the English, and I want to force some good health on you, baby, so you be healthy like me. That's right. Well, you know, it's and part of that, I think, you know, they're they're picking up the slack because the U.S. hasn't gone over and started a new war mm. and bombed the democracy into people for a while now, and so, you know, Australia mm. and the U.K. are picking up the slack, you know, and and they're beating the uh, um, common sense about the virus into people, and by golly, you're going to get a timeout behind some steel bars because you just plain won't listen to common sense. Yeah, they're just going to wipe us out until we're all gone or ignore us until we die, but nah, there there is no way around this. Common sense is over. Just watch TV and make all your political decisions based on shit you read in chat rooms. And vote. Vote a lot. I recommend voting because that vote is... Vote till it hurts. Well, that's what got us where we are. Maybe that's what will get us out of it. I don't know. Actually, what what I think is this is just the, it's a collapse. 
and people will not openly talk about, we are in a fucking shit stew right now, yet some people can see it, and some people cannot see it, or some people see it from this light, and not that light, when it's all, like Grim, <laughs> it's all connected, <laughs> you know? So, if you're feeling discomfort in your physical being, whatever that may be, right? I think that's because the outside sources are interfering with you. And you need to get in control of that. Not these, not succumb to the pressure of being whipped and beat on like some kind of fucking dog. Who, who wants that for a life? So, oh, I'm going to live for another 20 years as long as I stay in this room and don't talk to anyone. Fuck you. Yeah. That's what I say. Fuck you. I don't even speak the fucking language here. And I have yet to find the desire to hide away in a room in the house and never speak to anyone so I could live longer. What the hell is that? Um, what life is it if the only, you know, if you're not allowed to go outside and you have to stay six feet away from everybody and you have to keep a damn face diaper on? I can, okay, and I've known my mother-in-law since I met Circle, and to this day, if I didn't give my mother-in-law a hug when she comes by to visit us, it would be weird. Now, on the other hand, if I gave my sister-in-law a hug, that's weird. She's the stand, she's like me, she's eh, one way or the other, eh, fuck it. But her mother, traditional son-in-law thing, we get along, so I would, but if she came by and I pushed her away or something because I was afraid of the COVID, I'd probably get kicked out of the fucking family for being an idiot. Probably. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could just see everybody go, what in the fuck is wrong with you? But that's, you know, that's my mind giving me the results of something that I see as totally ignorant and deserving, deserving it, too, if I ever did that. <laughs> it would be nuts. Yeah. Yeah, we shake hands in the fucking public, me and my buddies. And the co we call it a COVID handshake because it freaks some people, still freaks out, you know, over, oh, no, they're not sanitized and all that shit, you know? They're using the hand cleaner to go shopping. <laughs> I'm, it's my nervous laugh because I feel really bad for them when they do it. They don't, they don't really know the bad side of what they're doing. They only know the... The state tells them it's for their benefit, and they believe the state. That's what I see. I might be wrong, yeah, but that's my... the state would yeah. never do anything that would harm them. And then in the yeah, next breath, yeah. they bitch about their property taxes. Not here. Taxes, no, 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 here. no, but no. But the state would never do no. anything intentionally to harm them. I've not yet heard a Dane bitch, a, a, a Dane well, with money there, here, the ones that I've met that have funds do not complain about uh, the tax structure. The people here that I've met that complain about the tax structure are the ones that don't have any fucking money. No home, no car, no 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 debt, nothing to collect. They're just complaining. But the, the people that are successful here, they've got a whole different mentality about taxes because they get results for their taxes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sad thing, Mary. I lived in America for 50 years out of my whole life, right? So I know America, but now I live somewhere else where it's softer and uh, you get something for what you put in, not nothing. You know? Yeah. <sighs> Ew. Well, you know, people, people don't mind <clears throat> investing, if you will, if they get a return on their investment. You know, they don't mind, especially, you know, if it's a forced investment, then if, you know, they are receiving something for that forced investment, they're they're not quite so cantankerous, especially <laughs> if they yeah. receive yeah. what they were told they were going to get. Mm. You know, then it's like, oh, well, okay, I don't see it in the first place anyway, so I guess, whatever. Mm. Well... Whenever Cirque's society does something out of the out of pocket, shut something down, there's always a, a notice somewhere. But if you don't know where to look, you don't find out. They don't go out of their way to tell you. They just make it public to a point. 
right? They play those games a little bit. But we've got a neighbor that's up on that shit, and he gets let's get <laughs> he gets the wind of they're going to shut the water down to do some road work. They probably won't tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> so you know, because they might shut it down for three or four hours in the middle of the day. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a notice for it, but if you're supposed to go to the notice to find out, not be informed, it's a little different. But the guy next door does all that. He stays up on all that kind of thing. <laughs> Oh, there you go. So that's what I mean about how you network in, in reality is not much different than how you network on the Internet. True. It's just that on the Internet, people are a little bit more free with their uh, their opinions and their uh, uh, word. And we're, shame on you. Yeah, we're in public. You know, uh, I'm going to talk to my neighbor. I might not feel all that great about something, but I'm not going to do that to him in public. I'm going to maybe mention something to my wife. He did something I didn't care for, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to tell him and mm -hmm. incite problems over some petty crap over a fence or something. You know, it's it's all based on shit any fucking way, right? So for me to stay on top of that, it's not important. Don't bring it up. Wait, there you go. That's how you win. Yeah. You Yeah, you don't engage people in stupid, frivolous crap that's not going to end well, that you already know it, why do it? Well, eh? Eh? I don't eh? know. Well, I... They're just gluttons for punishment. Oh, like the mask people. Yeah. Well, in their mind, they're, they're, they're the righteous. See, that's what I mean, this divide and conquer shit over a mask. How stupid can you be to not see the reality beyond the Saving your life nonsense. The government gave a fuck about you. You wouldn't need a mask to wear in the first place. So there you go. See? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that's how you... The, come on. Uh, well, my common sense works one way, and other people's common sense seems to work. The state said so. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. And I immediately get uh, suspicious. <laughs> Oh, no, the state's involved. Honey, the state's involved again. <laughs> Get out the Vaseline. Someone whose name is the state. Yeah. Well, some... I want to know who the hell the state is and how they know so much. The state is, they, is whoever... like an oracle? Yeah, it's whoever you believe it to be it is, then it is. It's a personal thing because I think it's a bunch of shit. Everybody else tells me, no, it's real. I pay taxes. Okay, oh, here's a building, and here's stuff, and oh, yeah, see, society, oh, oh, that makes it real, huh? Okay, if you say so. It makes it real to you. Well, I don't, I, I've got to some point in life where I figure if I don't enact and engage it, it's not there. <laughs> so, you know, there's an Australia and all that horse shit, and a Canada and an America, but my feet aren't there. I'm just talking shit about places either I wanted to go to or I've been to. There you go. Yeah. And the disappointment I have in reading how willing people are to give up all the shit people supposedly fought and died for and all this crap. And you give it all up because some idiot made a fucking movie? Are you nuts? Wow, I didn't grow up like that. Bunch of cowards oh they're gonna give us a virus what's a virus huh you tell me what a virus is and why i should be afraid of it and they can't do that all they tell you is watch the news dr fauci said so and that fucker lies with every breath he takes every time i see him i think of that little cartoon the secret of nim i'm not sure well enlighten me miss mary enlighten me you've, you've never seen that it's um, I don't know about some mice and or mice and rats that escaped from the NIM N I H M <laughs> no. National Institute of Health and <laughs> no. whatever. No, but it <laughs> sounds like a good story. Yeah. No, I'm too so, busy hiding the truth from average Joe to watch TV and movies. <laughs> I was being funny. Hey, did you know that I think the state loves violence? Oh yeah, because in yeah. order, you know, in order for the state to continue surviving, 
it needs to have some kind of violence in order to prop up in front of the people so that they can go, see, we're protecting you from this. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain who's pulling the strings on all of this. Ah, uh, so... We're protecting you from this. Well, it made me think now, though, that the people I live amongst... They have a different outlook on their government, and they seem to be able to play with this mass thing in a way that I'm not capable of. I take it really fucking serious. Cover my face. Who the fuck do you... What? Get the fuck off me. And other people don't... They don't take it to that level. You, yeah. Yeah. You're with me on this? I think that I was just hardcore raised with this freaking idea that nobody tells you what to do. And if they do, resist it. If you even think they're standing next to somebody that's looking at something that says, tell them what to do, fuck them both up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I guess yeah. it could rival paranoia, but I call it a heightened state of awareness. Fear of compliance. Ah, or as Tao once so eloquently put it, I, Flash, have a fear of compliance. <laughs> <laughs> a fear of God. You forgot yeah, that? Fear what for the World Truth one. Days? Cirque just reminded me of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> when I was, I, I, I was, is, yeah, and yeah, by I mean, a, people are always telling you that you're fearful of something, and it's like I'm not afraid. A fear of not. compliance, Mary. I mean, what the? F I yeah, that's exactly what I've got. Damn, I don't want to okay. be compliant. What for? What? What's the point of being compliant, really? Uh, mm, I don't know. To not I'd... disturb the flow. And I, I'm so, this flow needs disturbance so badly that I can't, you know, I have to force myself to accept that I could bring circ trouble not conforming. And I've never had to do this. This is new territory. Oh, wow. Wow. <sighs> so, am I being paranoid or am I just being aware of the possibilities that uh, this bullshit hoax in society could bring my way? Well, you know, uh, considering all possibilities is, from what I understand... A uh, a shine of or shine a sign. <laughs> a sign. Of, I'm know, sorry, I coughed over you. A sign of yeah of intelligence, you know, and it could be a shine because you're so bright. But um, you know, when one when one considers other possibilities hmm. to what's being placed in front of you and explained to you, hmm. you know, like well, what if? You know, those that can say what if, they tend to be a little bit smarter than the average dog. Because hmm. most dogs yeah. don't go, what if? They, <laughs> they just do yeah. shit, yeah. They live in the moment in ways that we wish we could. I wish I was as free as the dog, but luckily I'm not. <laughs> I would have never got this far in life if I was. But, you know, that... That uh, that meant that freedom concept, you know. It's deep rooted in some of us. Some of us have it so fucking bad. This uh, this concept that when other people try to force something on me, I'm insulted in ways that other people don't even get. They don't even see what I'm upset about. What are you talking about? Well, okay. There you go. And I would say that would be a matter of uh, the indoctrination, mine, versus the other person. And over here in this country, uh, there's a toughness to these folk. You know, they're not lazy. And I see damn teenagers out there doing the road work. I mean, shovels and brooms and you name it. Backhoes. Mm -hmm. They do everything, these kids, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. So well, I'm impressed with them. Uh, I'm still impressed with life, the surrounding, and yet, you know, what I see the system bringing on to control us as people is just makes my tumor bleed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, I'm not ready for this. I, 
I think that my indoctrination was one about, well, when people tell you something, they want something. Yes. Yeah, well, tell you to do, I didn't finish that properly. Yeah. yeah, if I'm to tell Mary what to do, I must want something for what her activity is involving. You know, it's got to bring me some kind of gain. Or why am I wasting my time trying to tell her to do it? Hmm. See? So I got that suspicion going on. Because there's a difference between being asked to do something kindly and told to do something by threat. You go, some of us just go, fuck you, <laughs> no matter what it is. You're going to yeah. get 10% of us are going to just do that. That's our first instinct, uh, probably our last instinct. But <laughs> yeah. and then when you get the compliant ones that are too ignorant to really uh, research what they're spouting at you you're familiar with this one because they saw it on the news and the government told them and blah blah fucking blah so now they're going to make you miserable until you do what they say <laughs> I know. It it really is like a child that's having a temper tantrum. Mm-hmm. You know, Wah, I'm going to throw things. I'm going to break <laughs> things. I'm going to scream and holler and get in your face and stomp my feet. <laughs> Why not? If it works, you know. why not use it? You know? <sighs> they can't control all of us. They need some of us to be in positions of that show the illusion of power. So that you'll, you know, bully other people around to follow you where you're going. See, and that that's the beauty of their plan. Now it's a it's a ugly beauty, but there is still a, it, it's genius how they did this. Mm-hmm. They got people to police each other. Mm-hmm. So all they have to do is put the thought out there, put the concept out there, and then people go, well, well, you're not doing it. You know, it's it's kind of like the people say, well. I have to pay taxes, so you should too. Instead of going, wait a minute, you don't have to pay taxes? <laughs> Tell me how you're doing that. You know, instead of following what someone else's example is, you know, and I'm just using taxes as an example. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to pay <clears throat> taxes? Well, how are you doing that? And then following that example, they're going, wait a minute, you don't pay taxes? <laughs> Damn it. That's not very fair. Yeah. I pay taxes. I'm going to call the cops on you. See? You know, so instead yeah. of taking it as an example yeah. that they might learn from, it's a, how dare you? It's the Greta Thus, uh, Thurnberg or whatever the hell her name is. I was going to say Greta uh, Thurnberg. Greta, Greta from Fox From News, Sweden. But, um, yeah. She's yeah, related to Richard Greta Pryor. Thurnberg. Yeah, it's Richard Pryor's the illegitimate daughter. He liked oh, white girls. Yeah. No, oh. I'm kidding. Well, mm-hmm. well, he played a, a he played in a movie where he was a Swedish gynecologist. Oh, with I Gene Wilder, yeah, it, it was called um, what was it called? Or maybe it. Where they're the one guy's blind and the other one's deaf, and it's Richard Pryor oh. and Gene Wilder. It's the stupidest fucking movie, but it's funny. I have seen that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Eh. and the. Anything where you're chasing a skirt and telling slapstick and jokes, and that's fun. That's what dorks like. We like ah. those things. That's right. We are easily satisfied. But you know what? Uh, to add on to your last rant, we got mm-hmm. snitching for dollars going on here, people. Oh, people, you do? Uh, well, not, not in Denmark, but I mean on the Internet, on the English-speaking countries... I've seen people being encouraged to inform on their neighbors to, you know, society, whatever the fuck society is, you know, snitch them off. They might have the COVID and they need to be taken away. Whoa, back up a minute, people. (sighs) Do they not understand that nobody's dying from what they're telling them they're dying from? They're dying from the the shit that they're doing to them. (laughs) Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh this yeah. Why they're masks and all that other fun shit. Wow, this winter's going to be a fucking massacre. I mean, with all the disappointment of the election that's going to bring on with the Democrats and the Republicans, 
One of them's not going to get their way because they're not going to put Trump and Biden in as co-presidents to solve all of it. No, no they're they're, gonna, they're going to pit one idiot against the other idiot, and then the idiot followers are going to get violent. They're being encouraged to do this already by the political people. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're projecting already. Uh, no, projecting? No, no. I saw the woman that's running with Biden speak with her own mouth, unless they made this video some trick way, and she said that the the Riots are not going to stop before, nor are they going to stop after the election, no matter who gets voted in. Went, Wait a minute, yeah, that's, that's blackmail. Program. No, yeah, that's predictive. It's extortion, but it's also predictive programming. They're they're put planting the seed in people's minds so they aren't surprised when it happens. Oh, they that's got some. Yeah, but they got some pretty perverted ways of looking at the word freedom. I mean, it's only okay for these people to do shit. But it's not okay for those people to do shit. Where'd the freedom part go? Okay, it's either okay for everybody to do it, or it ain't okay for nobody to do it. Not it's like murder. You don't pick and choose. Well, I don't know. She, she asked for it. <laughs> one of those. Yeah, one of those guys. I had to shoot her. She wouldn't get out of the way of my gun. I shot her seventy-five times. By gun country. I had to reload several times because she kept twitching. <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> I've, but see, movies, Mary, movies have made the most absurd, ignorant fucking things in life common. Movies have made the most gullible people even more stupid than they started out being. Wow. Ooh, I thought I was being mean. Slap. I'm going to go to the chat and see if you hurt anybody. <laughs> well, well, I mean, it's true, though. Well, I mean, you look at movies and so many people, and it's not its not necessarily even a direct result. It's a hmm. its a side effect, mm -hmm. which, you know, yep. there's no such thing as a side effect. There's only effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you I know, know what you mean. watch a movie. An unconscious and effect. die in a movie, mm -hmm. and then... You know, a few weeks later, they see another movie where that person is playing somebody else, and they're alive again. And it's like, oh, okay. So it's not real. They didn't really die. So, you know, they start incorporating that <laughs> into their thought process. <laughs> and they really, I, I really think people are just getting that dumb. And wow, what a horrible thing to say. It doesn't have anything to do yeah. with the adjuvants in vaccines, because those things kill brain cells. <sighs> See, there you go. And then you start into that argument. And again, then we're dealing with, but the government wouldn't blah, blah, blah. And there's just some folks that are just wired so tightly that they they can look at the proof and will reject it. I had an aunt like that about her, her Democrats. No matter what I try to show her or explain to her, she would always come back and say, no, that's just the Republicans telling stories about my candidate. That's not true. <laughs> well, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, even have photographic evidence. Oh, no, they doctored. Brainwashing to the fuck. I mean, this is a blood relative. And I, all I can wonder is, how the hell did I get spared that kind of uh, mental slavery to something that's not even real? I don't know, but I'm thinking the cognitive dissonance is strong with that one. Well, she I think she's gone now. She was my a little older than my mother. So, I don't know. She might be around, but we haven't spoken. I, I don't speak to her. But her political stand gives me something to think about. And so, yeah. she set an example for you, and you have learned. Stay away from this woman. She's a whack job. Eh, but... Well, some people are so adamant about their fucking political beliefs, like they matter. They don't give a shit what you... You know what? If you believe in Satan and you, 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 know, you eat live birds and all, pray to the fucking moon, but you don't tell me about it, I don't care. The minute that you fucking tell me about all this weird shit you do with birds and moons, and, I'm done with you. But if you do yeah. these horrible things and you don't tell me that you do them, I'm good with it. Then that's cool. Go ahead. 
I've spoken. I just wanted to make sure I was clear about that because I could have some satanic friends out there in the world that do satanic shit, you know, but they do it behind my back and they don't tell me about it. So I don't know. I think they're just people. See, and, and, and I used to for a long time think, oh, this Satan shit is just an excuse, you know? It's like, the devil made me do it. I, I'm telling my inner Jeff Wilson, but, yeah. you know, and then I got to thinking, okay, just because I don't believe there is such a critter doesn't mean that they don't. Yeah. It is a yes. Thing. Exactly. And yeah. since we are co creating yeah. this reality, I got to learn to deal with that shit, even if. Even if my form of dealing with it is, be gone, ye demon. I do not wish you in my world. Go away. Or as you would say, go away, away away-o. Go away senoro. Yeah. When I'm feeling bilingual, I just yeah. make oh. up words that sound Spanish. Like a real dork. Anyway, I speak Spanish very well. I don't. Taco I barely, Pancho I barely Pancho speak and... English. Do you know that deprivation won't kill everyone? There is going to be a mortality rate from all the harm that is being put upon us by this system that we live under. Okay, and I'm not just talking about the idiots like me that are just going to say no because you told me to. I mean that people that are, are going to physically go through this shit and they're going to come out the other end still alive, but they're not going to be the same. They're no. going to be weak, but they're going to be they're going to be a, enough of them and a lot enough alive to continue with this fucking social shit we're doing. And the next, See, and I that, think, the and next that brings in the whole. These people, do, is life happening for you or happening to you? Because yeah, the yeah, ones that yeah. say life is happening yeah, to me yeah. are the ones that whip out the victim card. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. they did this and it made me this and blah, 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 blah. And when you, you've got you to gotta help me. And then you have the ones that of the mindset of life is happening for me. Oh, hmm. man. Oh, bitch. Do you see the shit that they just pulled? And now I'm rather emaciated, which, thank you. I was trying to drop the extra 20 pounds anyway. <laughs> but... You know, now I know when I see hmm. things happening, like I watched before all this shit happened, hmm. I will be, you know, more up to and more observant and and pre- start preparing shit because I'll be like, oh, wait a minute, I remember the last time this shit happened. So it happened for me. It helped me to learn to not let that shit happen again. Hmm. Unfortunately... There is probably, for every two people that say that life happens for them, you got eight people that believe that life happens to them, and they are the ones that repeat history. <laughs> and the rest of us are like, no, we're going to come over here, and we're going to avoid your shit and ass. But wow. So, you sound like you've given that some consideration. Yes, I have, wow. which is why I live out in the boonies now. <laughs> oh. Well... I, I used to be a people person, but people ruined it for me. So. Ah, no, you say that. Well, maybe you're right. See, I don't, I don't know. It's just hard to believe after only in only less than a year that uh, human beings have became what they have became. Yeah, and they're well, convinced. It's where I love people in the abstract, but when it gets up close and personal, it's like not so mm. much. Well, I'm a little bit upset about this uh, obsession they have to protest. I thought protesting was like a one-time thing. You did it, you went to the guy, and you go, hey, gay, we want this and we want that, and we're not going to do this until you do it. And that would be your your protest, right? Now yeah, that they, you know, and you make sure that you, whatever is on your sign is spelled properly, you wow. know, with the proper punctuation, because oh, you know, ah. helping your uncle jack off the mule is <laughs> no. different. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, yeah, so yeah, but yes. all right, but this has gotten violent. People are dying. It's being <laughs> underreported. It's not as important as the hoax. The reality of what's going on. Nobody gives a shit about that because that ain't happening where they're at. It see, but but this hoax that seems like it's really happening. But the 
the police violence and the riots and civil unrest every fucking where. That no, that's just TV. It's all backwards. Yeah, yeah the results are showing me that this is how I'm interpreting what I see. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Could be, but it's not looking good for the English-speaking world right now. I wouldn't want to live in it. I'd be a violent psycho if I was home right now. Did you know, I read something the other day, and I think what? I posted it in the RLM, something oh. about they have decided that uh, English speakers are bigger spreaders of the COVID <laughs> language, and I thought, wow. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. Wow, this is one hell of a virus. It's got I it's know. got more it Yeah, it's got more uh attributes than I do. And it's only a single cell organism organism. And here I am, a trillion fucking cells, but this little fucking thing's way tougher than me. <laughs> and it's smarter than Assholes. you too because it knows if it gets close to someone that doesn't speak English, it's not going to get spread around. So it needs to hop on someone that speaks English. I know the and insults I'm of this. In the chat here, and I'm yeah. seeing that Chloe is going to be doing a knitted scarf, you know, for her face covering. And yeah. I think knit a maze into it, Chloe. You know, make it look like a really funky, like spider webby maze. And then that way the virus will be confused and won't be able to get to you because it'll be trying to follow the maze and get in between to get to you. Uh, the virus, uh, but, my mazes. Uh, but see, people proved a year ago that if it was your idea to go to the bank wearing a mask to protect yourself from other people's viruses, you were going to prison for attempted robbery. Oh. Period. No questions asked. They might have even shot you if they thought you had a fucking weapon. But now, okay, with the stroke of a internet site, all these things changed. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. So I'm trying to figure out in my little world here, how the fuck did the government trick everybody all at one time like this? They didn't trick everyone all at one time. Sure they, they did. Enough. Yeah. They had a game plan, and it was a coordinated attack, unlike 9-11. The, it was not a coordinated attack by 19 people with box cutters. Oh, that. No, well, it, was, a plane for shit. it was still an but, attack. It was just done from the well, inside it, out. It was, yeah, but it wasn't what we were told. No, was, no, no, no. It was just the Jews having some fun with you. Don't get all excited, you damn American. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, those are my people we are insulting. Because you know what? It wasn't the Jews, but it it yeah. was the Jews. <clears throat> Probably get cut off the, um, what you call it, the Facebook, not Facebook, uh, YouTube. Eventually, for my not complying with social standards in the medium. <laughs> that, you know, that was one of those things that Amazing Policy has in this video, that, and I'll, I'll go ahead and post a link in the chat. Oh, and she's well-spoken um, and... You know, she speaks clean and you know, she's professional looking. And me, I'm a long haired old guy with a beard. I'm yeah, not to no be taken seriously. To, someone was trying to send her a, a montage of all of the creepy Uncle Joe and his touching and sniffing uh, stuff. How much do you need Twitter. to see of that? Yeah. And, and Twitter actually blocked it, you know, and it was being sent to her in a DM. You know, so it wasn't like it was being put on the on the Twitter main feed, mm -hmm. but um, it got deleted, and they got and I don't remember if they got in trouble for it or you know like a nasty Twitter timeout slap on the wrist <laughs> kind of thing, or you know what? But I mean, it was yeah, it was before we started the show, so my memory is like white. Oh, I was but, reading Grimm's but, comment, laughing at that, Mary, not you. Oh yeah, sorry, the, the timing it was you know, just she horrible. Was that. That the reason why, and Twitter did a little notice to let them know why they deleted whatever post it was that he sent to her, hmm. was because it violated their community standards on exploitation, sexual exploitation of children. And it was pictures of Joe Biden getting touchy feely and sniffing kids. Yeah, I've seen some so of that. That's. That could not be sent to her, yeah. which she wound up getting the montage anyway, but 
because you know it violated their community. Yeah, standards. how convenient. Yeah. When when but the yet, proof when of the crime. It, yeah, but when the proof of the crime, you know, is against your policy. Well, then what? Where's the crime? See this? They're going to get you with technicalities and legal words. And yeah. and avoid the problem completely, but because they put it off on oh fancy words, you know at four hundred dollars an hour this guy will convince you that the color purple is black, and you yeah. and you'll leave the room believing him because they just won't stop until you agree. You know, and, and there are times when when I just have to go okay. I'm, it's I'm what just I just said, isn't it? That they just push I'm you and yeah. You know, there's a lot of a lot of times where my BSO meter has gotten really fine tuned, and once they start mm. with the legal bloody blood. Yeah, blah, yeah, I agree with you. I talked out. Ooh, you're a tough guy, and you know from experience working with the system at the level of government that you know does exist. Yes. And I'm just. I have had to wade through the legal. Yada, yada, blah, blah. Okay, and I'm just saying that as far as politics go, beyond what's local to you is got to be make-believe because what do you need other people a thousand miles away, for example, to make your fucking daily life decisions about what you eat and drink? What is it to them what you eat and drink? You know, but this is what governments become. They're, they moderate yeah, and fucking tell us what's good and what's not. And they lie about every fucking thing. What you eat and drink is no different than why don't you pay taxes? I'm telling mom he hit me back. It's the <laughs> <Yes>. same mentality. <laughs> okay. No. I'm in Denmark. I don't fight with anybody about politics or nothing. Just on the internet. And just on the radio talking about it. But it's got no physical nah, there's no physical uh, value to any of this in my daily life. And I guess because I'm here, I'm a communist. I don't, or what is this place? A socialist? What? Do you, uh, National socialist? Denmark. The United uh, what? States is a socialist country too. People just don't want. To oh right, right, right. But see, Denmark doesn't hide behind title. That doesn't do that. I just forget what they call themselves. I thought it was National Socialist, but I could be wrong. Because it's similar to the Germans like that, you know, where they, they love their country and their queen and, you know, their fellows and all that horse shit. As long as they're in their neighborhood and you cross and go into somebody else's territory, then those pricks over there, just Danish. It's a socialist monarchy. There you go. Just like every, but still, I fucking hey. The only thing about Denmark that's different and the, the real, be honest about it, is the language. The behavior's the same. The bigger the city, the shittier it is. The smaller places, you just got to, you know, behave yourself and not act an idiot and attract a bunch of people to get mad at you. And you survive yeah. fine. Yep. Yeah. But the big okay, city's not like that. Mr. Snick. Oh, he says, Mr. I don't Snick. Know why people get so upset with YouTube and Twitter controlling content. They don't control the Internet, create your own websites, and share data among your peers, which that is starting to happen. Twitter and YouTube... And Facebook are the biggies. They're the big three. Yeah, I like I care. Um, so, but you know, well, like with you and I, yeah. we met on World Truth. Yeah. As and, a result uh, of being on Facebook, finding out there's other sites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. so, and this you know, goes and back it, years and years. So, uh, this. Yeah. People and I are, had World Truth for a while, and then it got to the point where it was getting yeah. a little bit expensive, and then Circle jumped in, and she started helping, and. And then, you know, at, it's not like shit hit the fan when Circle started. It's just that it came, it's like somebody lanced a boil and all of that ugliness started coming out. Because it was all under the surface there anyway. But there are lots of options out there now. It's just that Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook are the big three. Yeah, there whatever. I, I, I got off so. Facebook so many years ago and you still are on it. So... What? See, you can't win this argument no matter which side of it you take, because well, there's. Well, I'm not really trying to win an argument. Well, no, I'm but uh, I'm making a point. Wait, but I'm, I'm yeah. making a point because you have extenuating circumstances that tie you to the nipple yeah. that you're on. It's not yeah. like a choice. You know, it, you can't. 
I don't have the same kind of ties to uh, people physically yeah. where you do. Yeah. And if I did, they would insist, and I would have to kiss their butt and do it. But I'm way over here, so it doesn't matter. And you would think this is where the Internet would come in handiest, you know, living thousands of miles from home. But people are very possessive. <laughs> I got I lost a lot of family members just because I didn't want to come back to America. And that was yeah. like way before Cirque. It was I was still in Scotland. Yeah, you know what's amazing? Mm -hmm. Hey there, J J S T L M O Ooh, I see. He's an alphabet in. soup. Yeah. Cha cha cha. Sweet. <laughs> alphabet <JJ>. soup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um but mm. You know, it's funny how how some of this stuff, you think that the Internet is possibly making, you know, people more abrasive, more abusive, more this, more that. Mm. I, I really don't think it is. I think it's mm. just shining a spotlight on those characteristics. Sounds like the you know, opinion I got about this uh, pedophilia movie, you know. You're not going to attract anybody that's not already there. Trust that. Those kind, yeah. those kind of freaks, uh, the movie doesn't exist. They're still going to be attracted to little kids. So, yeah. so making the film was it was a well thought out plan and how they pre presented it to the public and it, nah, this was just another way to uh, manipulate us. I think control us. It's an art form. Quit picking on us. By it's not soft yeah, form. by it's doing the very the art. By doing the very thing you just got done complaining about, wow, no, that, see, it, it's too black and white for me to, to bother with it. I couldn't understand participating and watching a film about a bunch of little kids, just, what? Cartoons is one thing, but, you know, like TV shows where they're, uh, the cast is all kids, I don't watch shit like that. Yeah. I like to well, watch the psycho the films. You know, people are bringing up about it that, you know, there was like 6,000 some kids that auditioned for this. Can you imagine? Right. Wow. And this is what per, your parents are leaning you towards. This is parents talking. It's out of our control. So just not participating in it is my contribution to that fight. There you go. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeding that beast, but I am acknowledging that the beast does. Oh, it. right, but see the illusion that they're trying to portray is that this film is going to entice the psycho. No, the psycho's already been there. Don't worry about. It. You're not bringing anybody new into the game. They're just getting off on watching you squirm. <laughs> it's like a saddest thing as far as I'm concerned. See, and, and I torture see it the as a public a grooming thing it's not necessarily all right but directed towards look at all the negative them. okay mary look at all the negative results it gets back from people that's what i'm talking about. they want that argument and that discomfort oh, yeah. and there it's not about the movie and it's not about the children it's about the argument yeah because any press is good press. Right, but you know, what a topic. Bad, yeah. Getting more attention. But see, now they've got another topic to... It throws a light on it, but it takes a light off it at the same time. See? <laughs> it's a mess. We're, we're being fucked with by people that are way smarter than we are. Oh, they're not smart. They're winning. You want to explain that to me? They've just been... They've been at this, you know, and the yeah. game is rigged. Yeah, but yeah. The reason why the game is rigged what? is because it's been set up in their favor, and they, if you will, they were born into being in favor. So, you know, and the rest of us are like, wait a minute here, I'm playing catch up. Mm. And and I see this COVID horse shit as a distraction from all the fucking reality that's doing us in. This fantasy doing us in thing has got more attention, but the doing us in part will come in time from the, all the help. Lockdowns, masks, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Making the and fucking you know, cure illegal so that nobody could buy it. That was brilliant. Yeah, but the cure is not... <laughs> yeah, no, there's a cure. It's a pill. Nah. All this shit is now everybody's going, 
oh my god, but wait till the vaccine. Wait till Oh the no, no, no. And then there's vaccine yeah, shit. There's a no, there's hydro whatever the some kind of a hydro, quinine. Yeah, hydroxychloroquine. Yeah, or Grimm says it all the time. I can't say it. I don't use the word enough to say it right. But actually the cure is vitamin C. <sighs> please. Um B complex vitamins. Uh, how dare uh, they sunshine, put Okay, and how breath. dare they put us through all this drama over a fucking common cold. Yeah. That's why I, ah, I believe it's the crash of the almighty dollar, and this is how they're coping with it, to control us. Yeah. Well, Nothing and else you know, explains I, it I to me. I've yet stuff. to hear a better one. That Trump is going to mandate vaccines and all this other fun stuff. Good luck. And my mind has gone another direction, because you know me and my wordplay stuff. Yeah. And I think of another word for a vaccine is an inoculation. And an inoculation is something that, like a vaccine, is supposed to boost your immune system. But to me, when when I've been inoculated against stupidity, it's because I've been exposed to stupidity, and now I know how to recognize it. <laughs> and perhaps, perhaps yeah. all of this virus shit mm. is a mental virus, mm. and perhaps... We are, you know, there's going to be enough vaccine for everyone. Maybe there's enough inoculations out there. <laughs> there's enough evidence yeah. out there yeah. for people to be exposed to the stupidity, people to be exposed to the tyrannical asshats out there, and to learn to recognize what they are so they have boosted their mental <sighs> immune system and are no longer susceptible to the bullshit. That is where my mind has gone with this. Is I'm I've already been inoculated. I see the bullshit. I've learned to recognize the stench. Mm. Optimistic, cool. aren't you? Well, and that's the way I see it. And so, you know, that is my reality. My reality is that I'm being inoculated to the stupidity <laughs> and the tyranny going on out there to where I can recognize it quickly and not let it adversely affect me like it does with many. Uh, well, so. you know, whenever I'm down, I listen to Deke Jackson's doing. He's been doing shit out of his van on the road, going traveling around uh, England and Scotland. Mm -hmm. and, well, he's a musician and a comedian, and he's been around the YouTube for quite a while now, but uh, <laughs> lately... He's been a real funny. He's now he's got an English character. He does he reads the news and tells you what he sees. And I I think he's amusing. Thought I'd bring him up because Deke Jackson says you know his thing his way, and then mm -hmm. I say my thing my way. But they're very similar. He's just more he's more foul than I am, even. And yeah. he's more direct. He'll come, man, he's got a name for everybody and everything. And strong opinions about what he believes, so he's fun to listen to. He's not weak, like listening to a Trump report or a Biden speech or whatever that shit is. This guy really means what he's saying. Even if he's wrong. Doesn't matter if he's right or wrong, he believes it. See, I can see that part of him in his videos that... I don't give a shit. I just like doing videos. And if you like it, fuck, here you go. Come listen. And he's inviting people on to it and has conversations with them on the phone. And he's pretty creative. Cool. Well, cool. but he's out there. So he's got a really, and he's vulgar as shit. So he's got a really small audience. But the guy's right on the money on a lot of stuff. And then on some areas, I'm not really sure where he stands, but he is. That's what matters is when you're doing radio or something like this where you've got to believe what you tell people. And I don't think that if I be didn't believe what I'm saying, I think people would go, hey, you don't even believe your own shit. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I don't get that. See, and I, I think it doesn't matter how many people are paying attention. You're putting that vibration or that thought process out into the universal stream. Then it matters. Yeah, and, it does yeah, matter. And the more people that do that, because yeah. I'm I'm starting to hear and see stuff, you know, that, shit, I said that years ago. <laughs> I'm starting to, yep. you know, 
and I don't jump on there and automatically go, oh, I've been saying that for years, blah, 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 because it's like, okay, yeah, I we put know. it out in the universe. I'm sure there's multiple oh, yeah. other people that put it out in the universe. Other people think it, it at the same time. Yeah. Well, or they think it at the same time. Yeah. It's possible. I mean, I don't know. I think odd things at weird times for no particular reason. And I wonder why. I wonder if anybody else thought that. How do you know? That's why it's thinking. Know. Well, maybe by the way it feels. Oh, yeah. you know, we got five minutes here. We're almost done with the show. I know. We did a big dork table in a quick time. It went quickly today. Thank you, Miss Mary, yes, for helping did. me. through. Well, I... I struggle with the solo thing, but then I find what I, I listen back to to see how bad it was, and I find, hey, I, I don't sound so bad after all. <laughs> Slap myself on horrible. the back. Well, yeah, but when I'm doing it, like I was telling you before the show, it's it's like talking to myself alone and out loud. <laughs> so it's it's kind of weird, but it's, it's interesting when it's finished. But it's like... A, Wow. Like taking a shower in a public place. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. It's that got that kind of personal. Hey, <laughs> you're not supposed to be looking at that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Put the <laughs> keyboard down and. Like a grand grand dance. Step hey, away. You weren't supposed to notice me getting a blow job. I'm gonna <laughs> blow. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Wow. What a game that all is too. Politics. People have got to, you know, they've got to either figure it out and get over it and move on to the next thing or suffer with the shit they have because it's not going to improve. If you're, and I'm not complaining about me saying if person out there listening is in a shitty lifestyle, that's because that's how they're reacting to what's coming at them. So, hmm. What do you do? The only thing I can change is me. So hmm. when I f- start feeling you know, oppressed by the force of the state, if they require me to wear a mask, I got to remember to keep my cool so I don't get my wife in trouble with my stupid temper over something that's not really all that important. Hmm. There you go. But it's a matter of, well, to me it's deep. To Cirque, it's not. So I got to balance that. When you got something yeah. to be concerned about, then all of a sudden, you know, this fucking COVID crap becomes real. And I didn't never wanted that. I liked it being a fantasy. So to see it becoming real in my physical life is <laughs> it's giving me the black ass. I don't like it. <laughs> black ass. <sighs> yeah, I had a work I had a work partner I used to What the fuck you got the black ass about, boy? <laughs> You've been fighting with your girlfriend again. The black ass. When you look like you got a black ass. <laughs> All righty. Hanging around your neck. Going hee haw, oh. hee haw. <laughs> Yippee ki Yeah, I'm Daddy. telling you. I'm going to send Grim his notes now because they're done. And uh, thank you, Miss Mary, for joining me here this week on the Dork Table. Uh, extravaganza that I called it is against the law to think I think <sighs> and then you we, know it's, it's like that movie uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy <laughs> improbability on, yeah. on the bureaucratic channel where every time you <laughs> I think a shovel would come up and smack you in the face <laughs> my grandkids love that <laughs> <laughs> yeah well but, see, I know it's such a pompous-ass thing to say out loud to other people. Because when I really give things consideration, I come out at the end going, well, that's what I think. Never never positively 100% sure about anything. There's always that little. Yeah. Hmm. But it sure looks that way. <laughs> so I go with yeah. it, yeah. Then I just go with it. But... I don't know what 100% would feel like. Eh, well, I got married, so that's, that's kind of like that, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, because you don't sort of get married to somebody. You either you get married at 100% or you don't get bothered to do it. It's like, so, but there's such 
you know, a few times in life where I, I felt like I did anything completely, you know? Mm hmm. But it's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying the ride so far. And I hope the ride continues. Uh, unlike my peers out there in mask wearing and, you know, uh, virus hoax land, people that uh, are too, they're too trusting for their own good. And it's yeah. it's going to be a sad thing because they're going to be the ones that are going to go. And they're worried about me getting them sick. Oh, wow. What a game. Anyway, anyway, you got anything cool to say to all our dorks and dorkettes out there in dork land? Well, I got this little ditty from, and I just clicked on Twitter, and it's from Thomas Sowell. I like Thomas Sowell. And he says, equal rights does not mean equality of results. I can have all the equal treatment in the world on a golf course, and I will not finish within shouting distance of Tiger Woods. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, y'all. See you. Love you. Bye.